What's up guys, Main Man Swee here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome to another Tekken 5 DR Revisited video, and this time with Armor King, the Dark King, who returned after 7 years away. He was in Tag 1, and then he missed Tekken 4, Tekken 5, came back for DR, an old fan favorite, I mean, he, this guy has a lot of fans, so big pressure on Bandai Namco to make him cool and awesome. And was he awesome? Yeah! You saw this, the inverted giant swing in the character reveal trailer, and I mean, we were all jizzing. Couldn't wait to play this guy. And did Bandai Namco drop the ball? You bet your ass they did. He was nearly unplayable, extremely weak. It's just absurd how bad he is. It's like Dragonov is a god in comparison. One of the weakest characters ever, I would say, especially considering uh, how cool he is. You know, he should be strong considering how cool he is. I mean, that's how I rationalize this. But um, one move that symbolizes how trash he is, is forward to one. You know this move from Tekken 7. Both King and Armor King can do it. Fantastic long range Punisher. Almost infinite range. Now check out this range. I'm gonna do the first hit. I'm gonna stand here. Okay, oh, it actually hit. Wait. Oh, it actually hit, I'm surprised. <laughs> you see this? I mean, comp contrast this to the Tekken 7 version. Fucking night and day. And of course it didn't end there. It's a high high. In Tekken 7 it's mid high. Uh, it is safe on block, but uh, yeah, it's high high. With the worst range you've ever seen. And uh, this went, for, I mean, in juggles, you know, it's a, it's a key tool these days for the kings and juggles. And here. Oh, shit. I mean, do, do you see that range? Uh, so, 4 to 1, one of the key moves is just so lackluster, you don't know where to begin. But I'm gonna start and try and show some of the things he did well. I showed you guys the giant swing, which is, well, hands down, best throw in the game if it wasn't for Devil Jin's laser throw, I think, in this game. And he had for 1 plus 2 break, he had the DDT, and as showed previously, for 2 break, he had the tombstone. The throw game was there, and it was incredibly strong. And he still had, well, I mean, as he's always had, ever since his introduction in Tekken 1, the dark upper. 14 frame launcher, fantastic whiff punish. It is minus 10, but uh, doesn't hurt the move. It, it's still like one of the absolute best moves. It's not an electric, but he, he had that move. And uh, the move you know is down to today is back to here. It's uh, zero on uh, block, so it's neutral. On hit, it's plus two. And on counter hit, uh, it is plus nine. So this move is actually pretty damn strong in this game. Uh, and then we have um, down for two, which is plus four on hit and minus seven on block. Uh, it tracks quite well, so it's a pretty uh, valuable move. The 10 frame punish two one is good, 22 damage, plus six on hit, so it's just as it should be. Back one uh, has, doesn't have it, uh, has, it doesn't have its extension was what I was trying to say, so you can't do back one too as a 12 frame punish, but it still launches on counter hit, even though the juggle is a little bit awkward. I'm gonna do that for decent damage. And, it, and I'm just gonna say that his juggle damage when you did get a launch uh, was good. This, this is the staple, uh, it just dropped a very easy combo. Uh, so launch 1 plus 2, 2 into giant swing air throw, did 67, well I mean not with counter hit, it does 63 without counter hit, uh, and then you get Okisema, so that was good. Uh, so those were the good things, now let me try and detail why this, why this character is so trash, I mean 4 to 1 aside. 
the frog, the frog game is there, but when in Tekken 7, you have some decent mids and you have really good poking. You know, his down forward 1 and down 4. Down 4 is not here yet, it doesn't exist. So let's start with um, the down forward 1. In Tekken 7, it's minus 1 on block. In this game, it's minus 3. That's right. His down forward 1, when it's blocked, leaves him at minus 3. So one of his absolute key moves, the mid, to keep people honest and keep them in check, is largely a move that destroys all of your momentum. So rather than keep them in check, you almost kind of sur you surrender your turn. Uh, so down forward 1... Uh, it's just incredible that it was in this state, to be honest. It's, it's just so weak, it's unbelievable it has these frames. Um, but uh, equally as importantly, you know, the down 4 isn't there yet. So what do we have as low options? We have a down back 3, which, which doesn't need clean hit to trip them. It always trips them. But on block, of course, it's launch punishable as you can see but the thing was that you might think he gets a launch here but he doesn't nothing is guaranteed after that uh, quick roll back uh, so depending on the uh, range Ford 4 connects but on many ranges, Ford 4 does not connect. Uh, so for a launch punishable low, that is very bad. But uh, he has down back 4, uh, that is also uh, launch punishable. On block, it's minus 21. Uh, Ford 4 delay 2 is launch punishable. Uh, and these don't get huge rewards, you know, 24. Uh, this on counter hit gives gives a follow up, of course. You can do this for good damage, but that's on counter hit. If that's blocked, you get launched. Uh, and then he had uh, down 3 plus 4, which was a new low move, a low poke for this game. Uh, and yeah, 442, no walls, black, no knockdown. That's also really good. Uh, and it has very little pushback, and it's minus 15. Yeah, good move. Um, but yeah, down 3 plus 4, it has no extension, and it's launch punishable. Um, and, uh, okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna very quickly, I guess, explain this. I'm gonna go through the lows. Damage 3, launch punishable. Damage 4, launch punishable. Uh, forward 4, neutral 2, launch punishable. Down 3 plus 4, the new low, launch punishable. It's minus 16. And you know what it is on hit? Minus 5. It's minus 5 on hit. Uh, full crouch 3, launch punishable. Full crouch 4, launch punishable. Yep, trying to hurt the goddamn feet of opponents with this character, <clears throat> you fucking killed yourself. Uh, the great lows you know today, down 3 and down 4, they're not there. They're not there yet. Um, so that was an absolute tragedy. Um, also interesting is that... Um, Ford Ford 3 is heavy minus, it's not, uh, you know it as neutral these days on hit. It's a pretty good setup move, uh, a high. But here, Armor King is minus on block. Um, if it does connect, they fly really far away. And honestly, down 3 plus 4 is the only thing I think you get guaranteed here. And of course, in Tekken 7, this move is a launcher on hit. Uh, and in all games after DR, it would get, give you a ground throw opportunity. It does not do that here. They can roll away. So Ford Ford 3 is heavily castrated. Ford 3 4 
is a great string these days. It's perfectly safe, mid mid. And here, of course, as you can see, it is high mid. Uh, so the first hit uh, is very risky because it's a high. And these days, mid mid and safe. So this string was pretty damn bad. And then this introduced... Uh, no, I don't know if it was introduced in this game. But no, I think it was. 1 plus 2, 2. Or was it in tag 1? I don't remember. But uh, it did not have the 4 option. So here it was uh, pretty damn useless. You know, if you block this, you would just duck the second hit. And, uh, and launch Armor King. So the string was pretty damn useless. And so slow. You have so long, such long time to unblock, duck the second hit. Um, and then back for free is uh, just ridiculously bad. It looks like Dragonov's back for free, but this one is not a natural combo. Yes, I think you need counter hit for this to be a natural combo. <laughs> and it's so slow. It's actually pretty, pretty hilarious just how, uh, how bad this is. Um, I want to show you guys. So this move is so bad, and has such bad frames, that I'm gonna eat the first kick and then punish him with capital punishment. That's a punish. <laughs> I'm eating the first kick. So yeah, that, that's a fantastic string, guys. <laughs> Keep spamming that. Uh, back 1 plus 2, didn't give anything on normal hit. And on counter hit, didn't give anything. Nothing. And so that crap. And for for two, I showed you guys no knockdown. Uh, minus fifteen, bad pushback on block. Uh, and then while stunning one, sure gave a launcher down for one conversion. But why it was always so annoying when this counter hit, and sometimes you, you couldn't foresee when it was going to counter it, and suddenly this happened. They go back turned, and you have to react to that super quickly, and it was so annoying. I think you got. I don't even. Is anything guaranteed here? Um, maybe get four for two. I don't know what's guaranteed, but uh, just a bad property overall, I would say. And while standing two, as you know, as a counter hit launcher today, uh, doesn't give anything on normal hit, and on counter hit, it's just it's the same thing. Um, so that was Armor King. Uh, I'm just gonna reset. Oh shit! Sorry. But uh, overall, like the throw game was there, Dark Upper was there, he had a few moves, but the big problem was Downford 1, just one of his absolute most important moves is trash, complete trash. And then the fact that he can't, Dumbback 3 is just, you forget about that move, it's so bad. And he can't low poke without uh, putting all of his health on the line. Every single fucking, oh sorry, every single low here is launch punishable. Every single one of these lows is launch punishable. Uh, so huge problem, and then he moves uh, acting weirdly, 4 to one being garbage. Uh, the shoulder here, of course, also launch punishable. His strings being super weird, super bad. Um, yeah, just uh, oh, and his hop kick notoriously bad range. Notoriously bad range. Very well known for the super bad range on his hop kick. Yes. So uh, this is what made Armor King. Uh, well, just one of the trashiest characters ever, uh, just terrible, and it was such a shame as he was such a favorite, came back, and he's such a badass. Um, <laughs> luckily for Tekken 6, they fixed this, and he was very strong yet again, but uh, yeah, my heart went out to everything, everyone who wanted to play Armor King, and me included. 
Uh, but so, I hope you, fo you found that video entertaining and enlightening, and I will see you all on the next video. Have a nice day.